Ungenesis Writer here with a very quick channel update for you guys. I know I haven't been posting videos as consistently as I want to, and I'm going to address that. But first off, I want to give you guys some really good news, and that is I have gotten early access to the Halo 5 Guardians beta. So starting today, or December 19th, I'll be playing it through uh, today, Friday, tomorrow, Saturday, and the next day, Sunday, and it will end Sunday night at midnight. Pacific Standard Time. Basically, I'm being allowed to play the Halo 5 Guardians beta early. And so what I'm going to attempt to do is post gameplay on my channel with me playing the game. And that's going to be pretty awesome. However, don't expect a really high amount of editing or anything of that nature. I'm just going to be posting straight gameplay. So I really hope you guys enjoy that. You can look forward to play playing the Halo 5 Guardians beta if you have Halo the Master Chief Collection on your Xbox One on uh, December 29th, I believe, and it will last for three weeks. Now, to address uh, something that you guys probably are wondering, why have I not been posting videos? Okay, And I'm not going to go into a whole lot of detail on this because I feel like a lot of this has already been said. But the bottom line is that Halo the Master Chief Collection, um, anything inside of that game that is connected to online, okay, not the campaigns, but just anything that's connected to online, is basically broken or in a very glitched semi-working state. Um, so much so that my my friends list has been dropping off left and right from people playing the game. Um, not that I don't have people to play the game with, but it is astounding to me how many people have already left the game. Um, there are people who bought Xbox One specifically to play this game and are just being disappointed. Um, there's a lot of uh, stuff I could say about this, but the bottom line is I have not been motivated enough to create content based on the constant uh, mental beating up I've had to undergo every night coming home from work or just over the weekend, coming home, sitting down, and trying to get a game to work that is not even in beta stage, but feels like it's in alpha stage. Um, I, I cannot even begin to describe some of the levels of frustration I've had with this game, but I'm trying to keep a positive outlook, and one of the main things I can say is I'm hoping 343 is devoting more of their time to making Halo 5 Guardians the best game it can be, rather than trying to fix a game that has too many multiplayers. They, they basically bit off more than they could chew. Um, that's the bottom line. I think a lot of people are going to agree with that. Um, I'm not saying that the Master Chief Collection is impossible to fix. I'm saying it's impossible to fix in a small amount of time. This being uh, 38 days after the game's release, and it's still in an only a semi-playable state in matchmaking. Seeing as I don't really go for custom games, this really hits hard with me, and I'm just uh, disappointed, to say the least. But, that being said... I'm going to be posting and trying to play as much of the Halo 5 Guardians beta as possible. Um, after the Halo 5 Guardians beta concludes, I'm not sure what videos I will be posting or what I'll do then. And so I'm going to commit to having some sort of update video at that time, letting you guys know what my general thoughts are and where I want to proceed with this channel's content. Um, I feel like there are so many different avenues I could pursue with the various videos I could post that, um, you know, I really want to start up gameplay reviews again. I really want to start up um, several things again, but I don't want to overcommit to something only to find out that the game is going to remain broken for four or five more months. That's one of the reasons I haven't even been streaming the Master Chief Collection is because I'm not going to stream a game where you spend over 50 plus percent of the time in a lobby waiting for games to start. And when a game does start, one in five of those games not working out and kicking you out back to the dashboard or freezing the game entirely. So uh, there's a lot, I mean, a lot of negativity I've just said. Um, I will say that the campaigns are astounding. The graphics of the game, and specifically when the game is working, it runs like grease lightning. It is very, very polished looking, to say the least. The thing that as bad as the menus and any, anything connected to online, as I've already said. I, I could go on for a very long time on that topic, but I'll, I'm going to kind of bring myself back here. 
and um, end this video by saying that I hope you guys are excited for the Halo 5 Guardians gameplay we posted in my channel. I hope you understand my predicament that I'm in and that a lot of Halo YouTubers are in at the moment. And uh, hopefully that we can forge ahead into the future, try to give positive and constructive feedback for Halo 5 Guardians and make it the best possible game it can be. Uh, I know this is not a very highly edited video, but I appreciate you guys watching nonetheless. And I'll see you next time on whatever I capture or record. Peace.